In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Shopify on your smartphone, edit your store, add products, and absolutely everything for beginners. So let's jump into the smartphone and get started. So go ahead and get Shopify opened up and it's gonna take you straight through to the main page. And there's actually a lot of different help videos and other walkthroughs that it gives you, but I'm gonna go through all of them right now. So this is your main page. And if you've just started, then you don't have any products and you haven't edited the look and feel of your online store. If you just scroll down, it's actually giving me some information about VAT, which is sales tax in the UK. Obviously, if you have a shop, you have to set that up, put your VAT number in there. Also, it's asking me to just verify my email address and everything so that it can be more secure in the future. And it's just giving me some news and some new features that the app has added recently. So right now there's local delivery available on Shopify. If you're a customer, you can get things delivered quite easily. If you're using the online app or if you're using Shopify point, uh, POS point of sale in your store. That is the home button, as you can see. If we scroll through to orders, which is another tab, you haven't set up your account yet, so there are no new orders but you can manage all of your orders on here. So if you have set up your account, all of your orders that haven't been fulfilled yet or managed by yourself will be listed here. Or you can see, you can create order yourself. For example, if someone comes into your shop or you just want to literally do it yourself and they don't want to do it for whatever reason, you can do it here. If we come out of create order and come back to the main page, you can see here products tab and we'll click on that. Again, we don't have any products, so we will go through how to add a product. And then finally on the bottom right store. And this is essentially a bit like your settings page. This gives you lots of different information on the back end of your store. So you can search through all of your customers. Again, we don't have any yet. Analytics as well. So all of the sales data that is going through your store all of the items that are selling will all be in this dashboard. As we scroll down, average order value, all of this will be populated when you start selling in your store and it's very self-explanatory. So let's go through actually how to set up the store, edit themes and add products. So let's go back to the homepage and when you do set up a store initially, there are some tabs here that make it really easy for you to get started. So let's add our first product to our store. So we press add product. You can very easily just add the title and the description of the product, whatever you are selling and whatever you want to call it. So as an example, I'm just gonna sell a random item that I found, which is my Canon M50. Definitely don't wanna sell this thing. I'm still, still using it, but it's just to show you how very easy it is to set up. What's good also is that you can put the cost per item. So the price is what the customer pays, and then you know how much you're actually paying for the item. This is important for your profit and loss and all the reports that go into the back end, as we saw. So this is really important that you know roughly how much it's gonna cost you per item. You can toggle on or off taxes depending on which country you're in or if you want to actually add that onto the price. And adding media is very simple. You have to allow it to access your photos and maybe you've just taken something on your iPhone. So that's really easy. As you can see, I've taken a few images here of products that I might wanna sell. So I wanna sell my Canon camera and it's just as simple as that. You just upload the media. You can also give the product an SKU or however you actually track your inventory. You can put the SKU in here just by typing or you can actually add the barcode as well. And this uh, little tab on the right, again, I'll allow access to camera. If that product has a barcode, just scan it with your camera. So it's actually a really easy way of doing it. Moving back out of the inventory tab and you can also add into collections. So if you have a collection of products, it just makes it easier to find them and search for them all as and when you need to. And of course you can add variants as well. Maybe if you're selling t-shirts or absolutely anything that has different options, you can just input all of that here. I don't need to do that as I'm just selling one item with one option and we can just check everything's all right and just press save at the top and that is your first product added to Shopify. As we move through to editing the look and feel of your store and we can add themes as well. So let's go into customized theme. At the moment, my store is password protected so it is not live or public. This is the default 
that when you open a store, it will be. Once you do want your store to be live and open, you have to disable the password, or maybe you don't, you want it to be super exclusive and keep that password and pass it out like that. As we scroll down, we can see the customization options for the store. So we can click on customize and see how we can change it. All the designs in the store are essentially split up into sections. So there's a header section that will be at the top, image with text overlay, image with text, text column with images, featured collections as well. So all of these make up essentially the look and feel and how everything is laid out, but it's really easily uh, split up into different areas. If you want to change the way that these are laid out or the order in which they are laid out, you can just press the button on the right hand side for a second and then drag it up, down and around so that it will actually be laid out on the page in a different order, however you want. If you want to edit any of these sections, just press the section itself and it will come through. So for example, I can just select an image that I want to show on the website. So I'm just going to pick this teddy bear and select to show him on the website and you can edit, change and remove that as you wish. You can also preview it on the site by pressing the preview button below and it will show, as you can see, ZG Deals is my store. The first thing that people see is the picture and you can overlay some text on top of that as well. So it's just a nice way to open the store with maybe the product that is best for you or most popular. You can add really anything you want just to welcome people to your page. As you can see, everything is done really from the top down. So start with the thing that you want and you can add or remove sections as you wish, just going down more and more and more with different products and different information and different text. And you can also add way more sections, just click the add section and you can essentially add anything you want from this list. So you can um, add a blog post or a collections list or a slideshow of a product, pretty much anything you can go and just add it there and it will just be added to the bottom of the page. If we then scroll out back to the editing section, as you can see, it's all laid out. And as I said, you can just move those as you want to put the thing that you want at the top, at the top. If we move through to theme settings, you can change the colors and the typography and just the different icons and look and feel of the site. I won't go through it in too much detail, but you can just change all of the colors of the text and the background and everything as well. If we go out to the themes main page and scroll down to the bottom, there are lots of free themes. So you can explore those. They just have lots of presets. You may prefer just to put one of those on rather than spending lots of time changing everything yourself. But as you can see on your smartphone, it's very easy just to change everything. And it's just in a linear order from top to bottom. You can just keep adding things and rearranging things as you want. But we're done with changing our store theme. So we can press done and come out of that. Moving on to the next tab and we have strengthen your brand with a custom domain. So right now my domain is part of a Shopify domain and it's got a dash in there. It doesn't really look very good. As you can see my zg slash deals dot my shopify.com. It's not exactly very memorable. So you can add a domain in there. You have to go off site, get your domain from a domain provider and go through all that. It's not really for this video, but you can add the domain there. It's pretty easy. Just put the domain in and all your information and it'll link up so you can use your much better sounding domain with your Shopify page. Then moving through to set up Shopify payments. This is an automatic thing. So you can start taking payments through your Shop Shopify store straight away. Credit cards and the most popular payment options can be taken through the store. So let's just see what that is, view settings. Shopify payments is able to accept Visa, MasterCard, Amex, as you can see, even Apple Pay, Google Pay and PayPal as well. So this is one of the really super easy uh, things that Shopify does that just makes it really easy to set up a store straight away, start accepting payments and start making money on selling your goods. Just a warning though on this one, it takes the email that you signed up to Shopify with as uh, your PayPal account. And that may not be correct. You may be using a different account. So make sure all of your details are correct in terms of PayPal and anything else. But yeah, you're going to need a PayPal very easy to set up and it will put through all of the transactions into your PayPal account. That is really all it takes to set up a store and add products. It is a step by step uh, method. It's quite easy. Still haven't got any orders, but products, as you can see, we do have one product on the page and we can check it out. It has all the information there. You can just go back and edit this as you want. 
just press where you want to edit and it will do that for you. So very, very easy and straightforward. Adding products, editing products, selling products and taking payments as well. That's a quick run through of how to set up Shopify on your smartphone. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked it and it was useful. Subscribe for more like this and I'll see you in the next one.